teach me how to pray Salah, teaching Muslim kids the Salat prayer by the Sincere Seeker Kids Collection, narrated by Erin S. Peace be upon you. My name is Amin, and my name is Saba. We are brother and sister. Congratulations on deciding to learn to pray. We want you to take a journey with us where we teach you to pray step by step so you can learn how to communicate with Allah, your creator. But first, what is the Salah prayer and why do we do it? Praying to Allah is the second pillar of Islam. We believe in and worship Allah, our creator. He is the creator of you and me and this whole world. We worship Allah because he is worthy of worship and to thank him. We pray to him five times daily. Salah is our way of connecting with Allah throughout the day so we can build a good relationship with the one who created us and loves us so much. When we pray, we ask for Allah for guidance to show us the straight path to living a good life in this world and the next. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, stated, Pray as you have seen me praying. So, we should pray the way Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, instructed us to pray. Muslims are required to pray to Allah five times daily. There are optional prayers throughout the day to strengthen the connection with Allah. Here is a list of the five prayers and how many units in each. The first is the Fajr prayer, prayed from dawn to the right before sunrise. The Fajr prayer has two units. The second is the Zuhr prayer, prayed just after noon, midday, when the sun passes the median point in the sky. The Zuhr prayer has four units. The third is the Asr prayer, prayed during the afternoon, halfway between noon and sunset. The Asr prayer has four units. The fourth is the Maghrib prayer, prayed directly after sunset. The Maghrib prayer has three units. The fifth is the Isha prayer, prayed late evening, during the dark of the night. Approximately an hour and a half after sunset, the Isha prayer has four units. It's important that Muslims clean their bodies, wear clean clothing, and have a clean area to pray. Before you start your prayer, you must first purify your body by performing wudu, a cleansing Muslims perform with water before praying. Muslims must also cover their aura when praying. For men, this is their body parts from the navel to the knees. For women, this includes their whole body, except their faces and hands. Then you must face the Qibla, the direction of Mecca, where the holy house of God, known as the Kaaba, is located. You are ready to start your praying. I'm excited for you, so let's begin. Let's pray two units together. You start by setting an intention in your heart for the prayer you are about to perform. Then, raise both your hands to your shoulder or ear height, but do not place your hands together. Instead, keep them and your feet shoulder apart and say, Allah Akbar, which translates to, Allah is greater. Keep your eyes looking down at the ground and do not look around as it would disturb you from your prayers. Then, you place your right hand over your left hand on your lower chest area. Then, you recite the opening Dua supplication, known in Arabic as Dua al Istifa. This is a sunnah to recite, so it's optional, and there is no harm in skipping it. You will say, Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik. وتبارك اسمك وتعالى جدك ولا إله غيرك Glory and praise to you, O Allah. Blessed be your name. 
and exalted be your majesty. There is none worthy of worship except you. Then we seek refuge in Allah from the cursed shaitan, Satan. And then we recite the first chapter of the Holy Quran called Surat al-Fatiha, the opener. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem. I seek refuge in Allah from Satan the accursed. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In the name of Allah, the most compassionate, most merciful. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. All praise is for Allah, Lord of all worlds. Ar Rahmanir Rahim. The most compassionate, most merciful. Maliki Yawmiddin. Master of the Day of Judgment. You alone we worship and you alone we seek for help. Guide us along the straight path. The path of those who you have blessed, not those who you are displeased with, or those that went astray. Ameen. Then, it is sunnah to read a short chapter or a few verses of your choice from the Holy Quran. You raise your hands to your shoulder or ear length and say, Allah Akbar, Allah is greater, while going into a bowing position. With both your hands on your knees, fingers spread a little, your back and head lined up straight, your elbows raised and tucked in and not outward, and say at least one time silently, three is recommended. Subhana Rabbi al -Azim. Glory to my Lord, the Exalted. Then rise while raising both your hands to your shoulder or ear length once and say, Allah hears whoever praises him. O oh, our Lord, all is to praise you. Then you slightly pause for a second. Then you fall into prostration while saying, Allah Akbar. God is greater. Place your forehead on the ground. The seven body parts that should touch the ground include your face with your nose, two hands, two knees, and two feet, all pointing forward. Do not place your elbows on the floor. Instead, keep them pointed inwards and do not rest your stomach on your thighs. Keep from sitting on your stomach to the best of your ability. While in prostration, called sujud in Arabic, say silently at least once, three is recommended. Subhana Rabbi al-A'la. Glory be to my Lord, the Most High. Then you rise from your prostration position while saying Allah Akbar, God is greater, with your knees bent and palms placed on your thighs near your knees. Your right foot should be straight, and you will sit on your left foot, keeping it horizontal to the ground while saying twice silently, Lord, forgive me. Then, prostrate yourself to the ground again while saying, Allah Akbar, God is greater, and repeat the same words on the prostration page, which again are, Subhana Rabbi al-A'la Glory be to my Lord, the Most High. After this, you have completed one unit of prayer called Raka in Arabic. You would then get up while saying Allah Akbar, God is greater, and pray the second unit of prayer, repeating all the same steps outlined above, starting from reciting the first chapter of the Holy Quran, called Surat al-Fatiha, the opener. After finishing two units of prayer, 
Remain sitting on your knees with your hands on your thighs near your knees. You will sit on your left foot, keeping it horizontal with your right foot straight up vertically and your toes pointing towards the Qibla, Mecca. With your right hand, point your index finger towards the Qibla, towards Mecca, the direction we pray, making a circle with your thumb and middle finger. Or you can make a fist with all your fingers, except for your index finger, which should be pointed. You can keep your pointed finger still, or slightly move it up and down. Look down at your finger, or in the area where your head was, and recite silently what is known as the Tashahud. Attahiyatu lillahi wa salawatu wa tayyibat Assalamu alayka ayyuhan nabiyu wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Assalamu alayna wa ala ibadillahi salihin Ashadu an la ilaha illa Allah Wa ashadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasooluh all compliments, prayers, and beautiful expressions are for God. Peace be upon you, O Prophet, and Allah's mercy and blessings are on you. And peace be on us and Allah's good, pious worshippers. I bear that no one has the right to be worshipped except Allah and that Muhammad is his slave and apostle. Then you recite what is known as the Dua al Ibrahimiya, the prayer of Ibrahim. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ala ali Muhammad, kama sallayta ala Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim, innaka hamidun majid. اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد O oh Allah, send your grace, honor, and mercy upon Muhammad and upon the family of Muhammad as you sent your grace, honor, and mercy upon Ibrahim, you are indeed worthy of praise, full of glory. O Allah, send your blessings upon Muhammad and the family of Muhammad, as you sent your blessings upon Ibrahim, you are indeed worthy of praise, full of glory. Then you would conclude your prayer by turning your head to the right first, while saying, Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullah. Peace and the mercy of Allah be on you. Then you turn your head to the left and repeat the same words. You have now completed a two unit prayer. We are so happy you took this journey with us. May Allah accept your prayers and reward you abundantly. May your prayers be a means to connect you closer to your Creator. The End